I would like to watch you sleeping. I would like to sleep with you, to enter your sleep as that smooth dark wave slides over my head and walk with you through that loosened wavering forest of blue-green leaves with its watery sun and three moons towards the cave where you must descend, towards your worst fear. I would like to give you the silver branch, the small white flower, the one word that will protect you from the grief at the center of your dream, from the grief at the center. I would like to follow you up the long stairway again and become the boat that would row you back carefully, a flame in two cupped hands to where your body lies beside me, and you enter it as easily as breathing in. I would like to be the air that inhabits you for a moment only. I would like to be that unnoticed and that unnecessary. I would like you guys to have that. My dearest Mada, when we first met, I wasn't entirely prepared for your arrival. And in the time that's passed since our meeting, you've enriched my life in so many ways. Margaret, Margie, Margarita, since the day we first met, you've made me a happier person than I ever could have imagined. I could never have envisioned feeling this connected to someone before I met you. You're truly a calming influence in my life, and I feel like I'm in a state of perpetual free fall in love and admiration with you. So I stand here today, faith and love fully restored, in celebration of this relationship. I promise to always be there and remain standing by your side as we grow older together. I promise to always try to make you feel comfortable and safe. I promise to not sweat the small stuff and to always be open and honest with you. And I promise to let you be you and walk along as your companion through your journeys, starting with this one. for coming. I know there's people who have traveled from far. There's people who have come from Lebanon. There's people who have come from Germany. There's people who have come from Ottawa, from Dallas, from all over the place. Toronto, Vancouver, uh, Texas. There's people who hitchhiked to the wedding because their car broke down. I think a big round of applause for the hitchhikers. It's a tall order to attempt to put into a few minutes uh, what these two people mean to me, but it's great to see two people that are so right for each other. Over the years, they've surrounded themselves with great people, and I'm so lucky to have gotten to know so many of you. May they always be each other's rock to lean on in this crazy world. To Margaret and Matta. I can't begin to say how happy I am to be here and to see you guys, and how beautiful your vows were. I've noticed lately that hybrid names seem to be the new thing. People are no longer hyphenating. And my personal favorite, and what I think should be the running hashtag for tonight, uh, Mad Mark Hot Donald. You've had enough adjectives, both of you, today, describing you. We were so happy that this is the person Mada has decided to spend the rest of his life with. 
and we are really, really glad that this happened, that we're here to witness this, and that this is happening with everyone here. Who can find me? <laughs> so as years went by in Canada, that funny, loving, cheerful young brother started to grow, show deeper signs of greater responsibility and more careful planning. It became clear that, you know, somebody has come into Mada's life. And that's a beautiful bride, Margaret. She became the balance and harmony to Mada's life equation. There's a third kind of decision that people make, and this is the kind that everyone really respects, everyone really looks up to. These are the decisions where it couldn't possibly be any other way. Not because you should, not because there's no other option, but because for you, you couldn't do it otherwise. And you have this unique opportunity to actually cherish one another. Today, in front of those closest to our hearts, I feel incredibly fortunate and proud to be standing by your side as your husband and partner in crime. And I know if my father could be here with us, he'd be so proud to call you his daughter in law. You've shown me that love can feel easy and natural, and that even the normal tough parts can be handled in a way that brings us closer to one another. And I'm so truly proud of the relationship we've created together fully confident that together we can handle all of life's trials and make the most of all the joys that we may be lucky enough to have thrown our way. Mm -hmm.